In this video, we're going to have a look at a plugin that converts the drop downs in WooCommerce into these buttons, which is far nicer for the user experience and especially on mobile. The nice thing is that if an item is out of stock, selecting one variation will then indicate in the second that the item is no longer in stock. So you don't run the risk of adding something to cart that isn't available. So that's what's really nice about the plugin and after installing the process is very automatic. So let's just go over here and have a look. If you're in the WordPress add plugin uh, screen, simply punch in variation swatches for WooCommerce and look for the plugin by Emran Ahmed. This is the icon, simply then install. Once you've installed, scroll down and look for variation swatches for WooCommerce by once again, Emran Ahmed and simply activate the plugin and the settings are applied. There is really nothing else to do. To show you how that works, I'm just going to deactivate and then we'll activate again and you'll see that the items are applied quite effortlessly. If we have a look here at the settings in the plugin, you'll see that you have several options. The nice thing is that if you head over to tutorials, there's a whole lot of tutorials, videos that will help you to set up when it comes to more specialized settings. Now, just to remember, just to keep it bear in mind that some of these settings are pro. So when you want the color to be displayed instead of a title, that's a pro setting. If you'd like an image to be displayed instead of just the the name of the color once again that is a pro setting so if you'd like to replace basically the button with anything more creative you'd have to start looking at the pro version also when looking at the product in the archive view where you'd have the product with the listing and you'd like to include those items in the listing that is also a pro feature so you're not going to be able to do that in the free version now that I've deactivated the plugin over here and we head over to the website, if I refresh the page, you'll see that we're back to the standard drop down. And now when I head over to the back end and I activate the variation, you'll see that it's quite a seamless process for the uh, buttons to appear. So we're just waiting for the plugin to activate. Let's have a look and see if that's taken effect. Right, there you have it. So with the plugin activated immediately, we go over to the labels and there's nothing else to do. If we head back to the settings, we had a look here to see at the various tutorials available and most of these are around the pro version. So if you'd like to know what's in the pro version, we'll just start off here on styling you'll see that there's a whole lot of styling here that applies to uh, the tooltip. Then you have individual item, item hover styling, item selected styling. So anything that you can do to customize for, for your particular store. And then of course, then when it comes to the archive or shop view, here you can see the different things that you can do uh, to have them display on the archive view. Just bear in mind that when you are in the archive view of your shop and you do have a filter system deployed. So in this case, I've just used standard WooCommerce filters. Um, you'll see here that you're actually able then to filter anyway by the color and by the size. So if somebody was looking for large, they wouldn't necessarily be scrolling through your products looking for that particular uh, variation in, in the archive view more than likely they would simply head over here and if they were looking for a particular size, simply select the icon or the filter and then the products are filtered. And then once on the actual page, then the buttons make it a whole lot easier then to select the product that you're looking for. Also then in the mobile view, we'll just have a quick look there. If we look at that in the mobile view and we scroll down, you'll see here nice and easy able to select the various items. So that's what's great then about this plugin on the mobile and obviously in the desktop view. Then we also have a special attribute 
page so we have a variation image preview you can choose an attribute and if you select it it will automatically redirect you to the pro page if you haven't made a purchase so you can't uh, look into the variations more but you certainly get an idea of what's available so lots of features available if you really want to go pro if we just look at the standard settings you can enable or disable the tooltip so the tooltip would be what you see when you hover over a particular item if you feel that you don't want it well you can quite easily uh, disable that and you can also choose if you want rounded or squared shape but the squared shape takes up slightly less space and when it comes to a label it is just a little bit more attractive then you have some advanced settings so you can have a clear on reselect you also have ajax variation threshold uh, you have a couple of other things that you can set here as well so you can play around you do have some control over what people see on the site and then they also have some performance settings where you could defer the javascript or you can use transient cache so there are a couple of things that you can do to enhance the performance as well so not a not a bad option if you looking for something for free i'd highly recommend it very easy to use works straight out the box and does what it says so i hope you enjoyed that video thank you for watching